Welcome to DarwinChin.com. Okay, today we're going to take a look at using Photoshop CC 2014 edition on the Surface Pro 1. Uh, now, I'm going to preface this real quick and say that uh, my Surface Pro 1 is running the Windows 10 preview. I don't believe that will cause any performance issues, but um, uh, this is mostly to see if uh, Photoshop CC 2014 works okay or works properly in uh, on an older Surface Pro. So, we'll launch uh, the program. You see, so if you've used uh, Photoshop, any version of it, on the Surface Pro One, uh, the one thing that you're going to notice is that uh, the UI tends to be kind of uh, kind of small, and it's really not not much difference with uh, the 2014 edition. So uh, you can see, you know, the, your toolbar is on the side, and you know all your palettes are over here, and they're really really small because uh, uh, the the the, the um, well, there's an update available. Well, I'll have to do that a little later and see if that makes any difference. But the one thing about the version of Photoshop that's available now is that Microsoft and Adobe have been working together to kind of make a version that works well with the Surface Pro 3 uh, with this resolution of 2150 by 1440. Uh, I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but it's larger than the display that's here. So the one thing that, that, that Adobe had done is... Uh, under the preferences there are experimental settings and these features were also available uh, on the previous versions of, uh, of Photoshop as well the one new one here is a scale UI 200% uh, for high definition displays for Windows only so if we turn that on uh, that's supposed to basically make it uh, um, more visible on the, the display so if we do that and I close the prog program down and relaunch it again you see the screen's a lot bigger now, so it's, the the splash screen took it over, and for it looks it looks like it's almost good to go. Uh, when you look at this, everything is is bigger, all right. But the problem you'll notice if you look really closely is like down here and down here, uh, you're missing a whole lot of information, and and uh, in particular the problems uh, worrisome is the fact that the toolbar scrolls all the way down. Now the program probably is semi-usable at this state if you use keyboard shortcuts, uh, but um, you know it's uh, kind of hard to kind of kind of hard to, to. It's not really that usable in this in this state. Um, so you know, unfortunately, with uh, that feature, it really is ma meant for uh, the Surface Pro three with the extra resolution space uh, to fill it up. Hopefully Adobe will, will go back and modify this a little bit and hopefully make it work for the Surface Pro 1 and 2. Uh, we'll have to see if they do that. Uh, who knows, maybe the update that just had, that I just got pinged about would do the same thing. But now I'm kind of stuck in this gigantic mode with my stuff not, not uh, available for me. So in order to fix that, I'm going to have to reset it. So you can hit Control-Alt-Shift, run the program. And then basically, yes, I'm still holding it down. And then now it'll ask me if I want to reset uh, my preferences. And say like, yes. And it's uh, nah. it's fickle. Sometimes you have to do it. I, I think I let go of the key combination too soon. So hold the control, alt, shift down, run the program. I still have it held down. There. Now, now it reset it this time. I'll set yes up here. And now it's back to uh, the small view. So, you know, that's something that that's... Uh, you know, uh, that, that's kind of annoying. I wish it would actually work with that larger view because these are kind of minuscule. So, all right, let's just talk about using it. So we'll make a new document. I go to pixels. I like to work in pixels. Some people like to work in inches, but I do pixels. I'll do 2100 by 1500. Just, just open that up. And there we are. So the gestures work. You know, um, so the, you can't, there's no, rot the rot rotation works as well. So you can, you can rotate the canvas, zoom in. Uh, I'll make a new layer if I can avoid touching the clock that comes up. Uh, I'll go to my, my brush here and we'll just pick a little, little brownish color and we'll go to town. Now the one thing uh, they, that you're going to want to do if you have a Surface Pro 1 and you've not done so yet is uh, you can get the Wacom uh, field drivers and I installed them they're right here the Wacom pen if I run that you'll see that basically I have options here to tweak the firmness and softness of the tip which is important uh, as well as what the uh, top button is now, I'm using my, my my old executive pen uh, instead of the the 
uh, surface of pearl pen, but it's the same type of thing. And of course the eraser, uh, the feel of the eraser. I like to use hover click uh, so that I can basically, uh, as I'm kind of hovering around, not having to touch the surface of the screen, I can hit the button to get uh, a right click option to come up. So it's good to have. That's a, that's a, it doesn't come standard. You have to go to the Wacom site to get it, but I'd say definitely do it because you can you know tweak the, the, the pen a bit more to your liking. So, you know, I can go harder, I can go soft, which is real nice. So, you know, the one thing that I always thought about was a shame about the Surface Pro 3 is that they moved away from Wacom. I actually still like the Wacom feel a lot better than, than the end trick that's there. All right, let's do something a little more interesting. Let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, using uh, the, the pen here. Oops, the pen here will... Let's see. It's got some more interesting brushes. Uh, brushes available, like this one. Actually, has a little something that shows you kind of like the, the pressure. How much pressure you're putting down, just to kind of see. So any issues working? I'll zoom in. I use the eraser back here. The eraser does does work. So for those of you that are kind of on the bench about going to the Surface Pro 3 because of the pen, the Surface Pro 1 is probably still going to service you just fine. Uh, Photoshop does work, uh, like I said, but the, the, the obvious problem is the UI piece, which hopefully they'll address in, at some future point. Right now they've been mostly focused on, on basically uh, uh, on the Surface Pro 3, uh, probably because of Microsoft's urging probably. Uh, choose my colors. So I look, look, look the right click over here, so I can actually tweak, grab a brush. So this is, you know, the Photoshop is not not like Art Rage. It doesn't have as many of the art tools uh, for natural media stuff, but you know, it's a great program to use. So uh, I'm not sure what else you want me to, what would be good to show, but uh, for the most part, you know, you can see that it does work. Uh, I can add filters to this thing. I can uh, pixelate it, crystallize, and kind of uh, jump that up a bit. That's a terrible filter for me to use. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's try another, try a different one. That might be a little more interesting to look at. Oh, how about the we'll do a render render difference clouds in there, and so you know it does it uh, without much hesitation. And so so there you have it. A look at Photoshop CC 2014 on the Surface Pro 1. Uh, once again, summing up, summing up, it does work just fine. There's really not much of a lag. Uh, you know, it uh, big big is only only thing that that's been a problem is what's been a problem for a while is the UI is very very small on this 10 inch display. So if you have any questions or something that I've not shown you want to see, you know, please uh, you know send me a note and you know, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.